Hey, how you doing? It's Tony Fair from St. Thomas Ford Lincoln. Today I'm doing a walk around on the new 2021 F-150. This one in particular is a Lariat mid package. So I chose this one because it's got a lot of the goodies, a lot of the essentials, not fully loaded, but not completely base model either so that you can get a good reference of uh, how these trucks typically look on the outside and what kind of equipment you can expect on the inside. Let's this do. is a Super Crew, meaning the full four doors with a five and a half foot box, four by four, F-150 Lariat. This particular particular one has the chrome package, hence the bumpers, the rims, the running boards, the badging and such, um, door handles and exhaust tips. Most of the ones you'll see on the road these days are the sport package where you would have actually body color bumpers, black running boards, um, and a black grill as well. So more sporty and, and younger, it's a lot more popular. I, I actually prefer the chrome myself. You're gonna see here, it has the parking sensor. So that is actually standard on a base model truck nowadays, an XLT. Tow package is equipped with your with your uh, uh, your plugins there for various different types of trailers, and it has a remote. It has a, a tailgate dampener. Often people ask, what on earth are these things? Well, um, there when, when you do equip the tailgate step option that this truck doesn't have, there will be a work surface here with various different types of measurements, and um, what always comes with it is these spots here. Imagine if you had some lumber or things you want to secure to the back, and you're marking them or getting ready to cut them. You can actually uh, attach some C-clamps to here and uh, you know for cutting or marking or measuring and then you even have these tie downs here on the tailgate for some extra loads. Um, as usual it comes with the four extra box length tie downs with a kit in the back you can slot those cleats in there and then the usual ones in the corner as you can see covered up by those pucks. LED box lighting is standard on a Lariat and above and there is a 400 watt outlet in the back 110 volt. Yeah, so it's a gorgeous truck. Let's go check out the inside. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna move left to right along the along the cluster here in this new F-150 Lariat. So Lariats all come with uh, memory seating as well as the steering wheel adjustments. So once you have your steering wheel positioned where you want, your seats positioned where you want, you can click and hold if there's multiple drivers in the house. And you see this, memory one saved. So super handy. If there's gonna be multiple drivers in the house, different sizes, et cetera. Um, the Lariats also come equipped with the power folding mirrors. This is not an XLT option. This is a Lariat option and above, as you can see that. I apologize, it's dirty. We've got a Southwestern Ontario winter here. Um, also included in the XLT 302A equipment group and above is LED side mirror spotlights. So there will be some LED lights embedded underneath the mirrors. And so as long as the vehicle is driving under 10 kilometers an hour, you can click that, illuminate the ground below uh, below you to help you see uh, more things that are around your vehicle. And you've got a remote, uh, sorry, you've got a button here that will release the tailgate and it has a dampening strut just so it won't slam down. And this is all pretty self-explanatory. You've got your lights set to automatic. Um, these are heads up display dimming switches and this rear button will actually toggle the rear exterior cab light. Power adjustable drive pedals right here and the electric parking brake. The reason why they went away from uh, regular parking brakes is because people rarely use their parking brakes. And um, as a result, they tend to seize up and you have to replace them every couple of years. <clears throat> this is the fully digital uh, cluster that's standard on, in, on an XLT 302A equipment group and above. So again, this is an F-150 Lariat. It wouldn't have this included. So here you can pretty much do the majority of things that you can do on here. Uh, check your, uh, your fuel mileage, truck information, um, your towing guide, you can actually uh, click and save and name different types of trailers in here as well. Um, your audio preferences, what do you want to be displayed on the cluster in front of you there. And you've, it's all completely digital. So you've got your, your RPM gauge and you've got your digital speedometer. On the steering wheel here, a lot of the things have been reversed from the old model where the cruise control used to be on this side and, and, and vice versa. So. What you got here, you got your you got your cruise control, obviously, set, resume, cancel, lane keeping assist, this will toggle this, and you'll actually see that it actually brought up the truck icon right there with the two lines next to it. Your volume changing and your voice commands. On this side here, we have a more intuitive uh, menu scrolling. Actually, this is, this is how I was scrolling through the menu before. And um, you've got your track changing. Um, now the picking up and answering the, the phone button is one button. It used to be a, a couple of different buttons. And um, 
here this is the new 12 inch LCD infotainment screen. So this is the new SYNC 4 system. So you're always gonna notice that there is a main menu and a secondary menu here. So your main menu can be whatever you prefer, but this secondary menu will always remain here and you can cycle this however you want. Um, unfortunately, something I wish for would, would make possible, you can't get rid of this secondary menu to see the full screen unless you move over to your navigation and you click this button right there and it will actually bring a full nav screen. So if you don't like seeing that, then you gotta move over to your navigation. Um, <clears throat> so uh, some new features in the F-150, obviously this, this nav is very similar to the old one, but it is, it is updated and more user-friendly and intuitive, is there's a new feature called zone lighting, which is pretty cool. So XLT 302As and above have this feature uh, in them. So we're going to override this. And this is pretty cool. You can actually um, turn on your headlights, side lights, rear lights. Imagine if you're working outside uh, on a project outside your house or your shop, or if you're doing some camping um, and you want to get some light. Click this and you can actually uh, choose which lights you want on. Imagine if you're in your front yard doing some work, you don't want to shine the light through the living room and, um, and annoy your wife but you wanna have this area uh, uh, lit, you can definitely light that up or click all zones and it'll turn them all on for you. Right now the truck's only on accessory power, so I'm not gonna be turning it on. So uh, some neat stuff here. Moving down, we've got obviously your dual zone climate control, standard on XLT um, uh, luxury packaging above. The Lariats, as you can imagine, have leather heated and cooled seats, heated uh, uh, rear window and rear defroster as well. Uh, one thing I really, really love about the new 2021 model is when you have a trailer tow package, it now includes a trailer brake controller. You don't have to buy a trailer tow package plus a trailer brake controller, which is pretty awesome. Obviously four by four shift on the fly. And then, which is pretty neat, we got these driving modes here. They're no longer on the, uh, the console shifter. You have them right here. So as I change the different drive modes, the interface is gonna change different colors, different themes. And obviously this will change the way that the vehicle drives, the shifting, uh, sport, as you can imagine, uh, very short gears, very peppy. Ecomo will be the opposite, accelerates very slowly and takes a long time to shift, towing and hauling, more so like a very neutral overdrive mode to uh, conserve as much fuel as possible with a heavy load, slippery, mud and ruts. <clears throat> All these different types of driving modes are standard on the Lariat and above. Um, got some storage space here like the old truck used to have. All right, you get a little smartphone holder and a, and a Thunderbolt and USB plug-in. Something that's new uh, is the if any truck that has the console shifter, you can push this button and actually stow away your console shifter. Now, the reason for that, they made this straight across the board because there is an option called the interior work surface. If this truck had it equipped, there would be a little divot here. You'd click, you'd grab it and you would lift it back down and it would be a surface that would cover this entire uh, console right here, which is pretty neat. It's only a $400 option from factory. I myself would totally get it if i were to get it eat your lunch play on your laptop whatever it is um you'll notice it that the f-150 actually borrowed the super duty additional um glove to glove compartment here and you can release that with this button right here you can keep your ownership and insurance papers maybe a, a tool or two in there and then the usual glove box so some things up here as well you've got your universal garage door opener power sliding rear window and cab lights as usual and moving back here we've got this massive cab um the 502a uh lariat would actually come standard with um it would come with your charging uh your charge plugins but it would also come with uh heated rear seats as well so that is about the it so that is basically it for the new f-150 larry i mean obviously this isn't a, a fully loaded vehicle but i chose this one specifically because it's it's nicely equipped um the only things it's missing are those super high high-end uh, features like the uh, automatic park assist and the you know heated seats in the back heated steering wheel and stuff so it's, it's got a lot of the essentials more than what most people need and i hope you do enjoy this if you have any questions if you, if you like this video uh please drop a like and uh and comment below if there's any other vehicles you want me to do a walk around on i'm tony fair from st thomas ford lincoln um, i'll talk to you soon